Hi, I'm Joe Ravita from Empire Music, EmpireMusicOnline.com, and today I'm gonna be demoing the new Taylor American Dream series, the AD17 model and the AD27 model. And I'm gonna kind of be showing you the differences in the tone woods and what you can expect to find what suits you as a player best. I've never done a comparison video because I tend to find them be like this versus this, and they put up big graphics and it's a question mark, and at the end of the video, the person doing the video never tells you which they prefer or what's best because they're really not there to do that. They're there to hopefully get you to subscribe and click, which I'm hoping you do too. I hope you give us a call, 412-343-5299 and or check out our site, empiremusiconline.com. My goal today is to show you these new models, talk about the baseline understanding of what they are, and then find out which would be better for you or what would be better for certain styles of play. Because at the end of the day, these are both great guitars. They're built on the same platform and they're gonna be a high performing instrument regardless of the type of guitar player you are. So if you choose either one, you're gonna get a great instrument. But there will be nuances that will definitely show better features for this specific instrument versus this one in different styles of play. So let's talk about the American Dream. It's brand new, Bob and Andy just, you know, just, just designed it. And it's their first ever all solid wood lineup in this price point. The AD17 features a spruce top and oven call back and sides. And the AD27 features a mahogany top and sapelli back and sides. Again, all solid woods. Both are V-class bracing. And both can come with the expression system too. So you can choose it by itself or you can choose it as an E model with electronics. The acoustic only models are $1399. The acoustic electric version with the ES2 is $1599. Now, these instruments are obviously built on the slope shoulder dreadnought design that Andy Powers came out with V-class bracing. So we know that's a baseline thing that we can expect. And what do you expect out of certain styles of guitars like this? You should get plenty of volume and boom, and you definitely do. This particular instrument, which is the AD17, which offers the spruce top with open call back inside, you're gonna find has a little bit more sparkle, a little bit higher end output, a little bit more volume. The AD27 with the mahogany top and sapelli back inside, is gonna be a little bit sweeter, a little bit rounder. So what I'm gonna do is just first play the guitars. I'm gonna just strum the AD17, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the AD27 so you can get an idea of kind of the differences in just the sonic profiles of both instruments. You can see the individual pictures of the exact guitars that are available here at Empire, right at empiremusiconline.com, we'll link below. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you kind of the dynamic range, I'm gonna play just a basic three chord pattern that I can easily replicate on both guitars so you can hear the differences. So that's the AD17, and it's got a spruce top and open call back and sides. Now the AD27, we'll do the same thing. Again, solid mahogany top, solid sapelli back and sides. So I think right away what you notice is the output from the AD17. It's a louder guitar. It has a definite higher ceiling if you're playing with a heavier attack. It's brighter at the top end, right? You definitely hear the crispness of the spruce top paired with the oven call. Oven call has a little bit extra bass, a little bit extra treble, and a little bit suppressed mids, right? And you heard that. 
that extra thump on the bottom end, extra top end, and kind of those compressed mids lead to that um, kind of like boom and crispy top end, and the output is created by the spruce top. Whereas here, you found the guitar to be real, real balanced, right? It has a nice full bottom end because of the body shape, it's lush. But when we play this guitar heavier, it doesn't give you that push that a spruce top will. So I would say if you're a super heavy strummer and that's like your main playing style, I would go with the spruce top version with or without the electronics. Now, something I did notice right away the second I played this guitar is when I think of slope shoulder dreadnought instruments, you typically think of like the boom chuckas, right? You know, you're gonna play big, boomy, alternating bass chords, you know, open chords, great. But when you put a mahogany top on it, it's kind of like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna get any nuanced tone out of it, any of the bonus of mahogany. Well, the V-Class bracing has really opened up the guitar's articulation across Taylor's entire lineup, and that's definitely the case here, because what I wanna do next is kinda show you what this guitar can do with like individual picking notes, its kind of sweetness and roundness, and show you that against then the AD-17. So this is gonna be just some basic picking that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do a light strum, so you can kind of imagine it used with kind of like that light medium attack, so for players in that style, it might lend better for you there. So let's check it out. Super sweet and round. Really, really beautiful. Um, the nice thing with the V-Class bracing, and you know, Taylor uses only a two mil finish on these, so a very thin finish, it's satin. It allows the guitar to open up really, really easily and gives you just kind of like these big, rich tones that you wouldn't expect. Now what you're gonna find on the AD-17 is when we do a similar play, that it's gonna have more bite and more attack. So if you're looking for, again, a rounder, fatter sound, this may be a guitar that doesn't offer that as much to you as the AD-27 would be. This guitar still sounds really good, right? But definitely brighter, and it doesn't have the body that the AD27 has. So the 27 is definitely rounder and fuller, which can be just amazing. So I would say, if I was gonna choose one for myself, if I'm a heavy player, this is definitely what I want, because it's gonna give me overall greater dynamic range. It's gonna give me more ability to play louder. And if that's most important to me, the AD17 is gonna be the choice. The 27 has distinct advantages because all the notes are definitely rounder and fuller and fatter. So if you're looking to play and sing and you want something beautiful to sing over top of that sounds really full and fat, the 27 will absolutely give that to you and will handle finger style and individual picking really, really well because it's gonna be definitely more of a chorusy type effect. It's gonna be a little bit rounder. So if you wanna to talk to us more about these specific guitars, give us a call 412-343-5299 Give me a text, 412-915-7118. My name is Joe Rubita from EmpireMusicOnline.com, Empire Music, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.